morning guys hello kids hello <laughs> good morning welcome to my morning routine it's your girl amy and i'm here today to show you my morning routine hello wow i just woke up hey i'm christina i'm Catherine. i'm lisa i'm amy i'm lauren and, and we're cimarelli we're all sisters ages 21 to 29 and we make original music music <laughs> We are all sisters ages 21 to 29 and we make original music, covers, and other fun videos and we upload every single Cimarelli Saturday at 11 a.m. Eastern time. Love that. Ah, Penelope. Great job. Penelope. Today, we're gonna show you guys our morning routines in 2020. In 2020 vision. Basically, we do an update of this video every single year. So this year, our biggest change is that Kath's married, someone's married, someone's married and someone's pregnant. So, it's me, I'm both. So, check it out. Hello kids, it's your girl Amy and I'm here today to show you my morning routine. First question you're asking is probably, Amy, why are you wearing a sweatshirt? Oh, what's that, Sad Girls Club? <laughs> Love her. In the middle of summer when it's like 80 degrees out, I sleep in a sweatshirt all year long because my head gets cold so I have my hood up and I just sleep like this. Good morning guys, welcome to my morning routine. I feel like my voice is gonna be lower because it's always lower in the morning, so. Welcome to my low voiced morning routine, so. This is a very different morning routine than normal because I am married. Oh wait, my husband's not right there. Basically what happens is we set our alarm for the same time every day and we wake up at the same time and then Max is like, we gotta get out of bed, come on, let's go make coffee. And then I'm like, no. I just stay in the bed and like rest for a little longer and he goes down and starts making coffee. So let's go down and find him. So the first thing I do is wake up, but this is probably like my third time waking up for the night because for some reason I cannot sleep these days. So I usually set my alarm for like eight um, and that's my third waking up of the morning. Please, sir, can I have some more? No, Lauren, you can't have some more because it is eight o'clock already and you gotta get up. Sorry. Oh Hello, wow, I just woke up from a deep sleep. So my hair um was in a brain. So, uh, welcome to my morning routine. I always think that this, this video is kind of a joke because I don't have a morning routine but a few things have changed since i filmed the last one first of all i don't sleep with a pillow anymore so i just sleep flat on my mattress and he sleeps next to me usually when i wake up welcome to the pregnant woman Here's the, the baby of this video good morning i wake up at a random time every day depending on what happens in the middle of the night because plenty of things happen like i went to the bathroom like 12 times so i sleep with this wedge pillow it helps hold my stomach up so it's not like uh, hurting me. And the first thing I do when I wake up, I think it's it's been this in every single morning routine I've ever done, is, oh, oh my God, I grabbed my water and the lid. This happens all the time. The lid wasn't all the way screwed on. First thing I do is I very gracefully and peacefully drink water. I don't drink enough water in pregnancy, there are dire consequences. So that is like one of the key elements of my day. First thing I do in my morning is I wake up, okay? And I wake up around seven. I used to wake up around six, but then the churches got closed and I couldn't go to early mass anymore. So I decided to sleep in. Now that we're awake, what we're gonna do is we're gonna brush our teeth, guys. So I'll see you there. Okay guys, so now we're gonna brush our teeth. I'm not going to do that on camera because I think that that is um, something I don't want to do. So I'll catch you on the flip side when I am done. Also, my hair looks ravishing. We're done. Okay, I found Max and as I've said, he is down here making coffee for us. This is our coffee maker. It's a ninja. I really like whole bean coffee, so Max is grinding it up for me. Yes, I know, guys. I moved on from my French press, very sadly, which I always used in my other morning routines, so. I got into the coffee maker life, <laughs> but it's good, though. So then the first thing I do after I get up 
is make my bed because it's just like a little activity to kind of like wake me up and also it just makes me feel like put together first thing in the morning. Isn't this bedding so cute? Like, are you kidding me? Like crushed velvet? Ooh, love that for me. There we go. And then I open my blinds. You know, let some of the light come in. Mm. Isn't that better? And then I journey to the fridge to get some water. I'm so tired. I just woke up from like a deep sleep. I don't sleep with a pillow, but Charles does. Oh. Hey, there I am. I can't think right now. Oh yeah, I also got engaged since the last video, so that's cool. So after that, <laughs> um, I wake up and I go in the bathroom and I spit. Same as last time. Oh yeah, and did I mention I got a second cat and she's right here in her little bed. See, Charles has to have a puppy bed because he's kind of a bigger cat and he doesn't fit in this kind of bed, but Penelope's smaller. Literally every morning I wake up and cuddle Charles, then I open my door and cuddle Penelope. She always wants attention. Hi! Okay, there she goes. You all must be wondering, why are there so many things right outside of your door, including a snowman blanket? Well. This is why Penelope has a obsession with ri Charles. See, this is why. Charles, stop it! Next, I'm definitely gonna eat. That is absolutely the first thing besides the other first thing, which is water. Okay, so where's my husband, you may be wondering? Well, he normally gets out of bed before me because he's not pregnant. He goes and works and I get up and I'm like, so, for breakfast today, I'm gonna have this. But I gotta tell you guys a secret. I already had this this morning at like 4 a.m. I often eat a bowl of cereal, or I eat out of a mug, a mug of cereal in the middle of the night. So this is my second one of the morning, which is pretty common. So I'm gonna pour that and have some. Next thing is we, oh, why am I so tired? We make our bed, because that's what we do in this house. So let's do it, guys. I am not a lifestyle vlogger or whatever these people are called. Don't know how they do this and make it all like, ah, I'm so cute and fun. I don't know how to do that. Also check my moon painting. How fun is that? Why am I 83 years old guys? Why? Just around the river bend. Oh my God. Okay. And now our bed is made. I'll show you it. Okay guys, now our bed is made. Next thing is to get ready for our walk. So we got our coffee. Cheers. And we always sit down on our couch and just hang out and talk for a while while we drink our coffee very slowly. I talk more than this. <laughs> okay, so we just talked for like, I don't know, a really long time about a bunch of different topics. <laughs> we usually read facts. We usually read um, some of the gospel and then we read like a little reflection about it. So today we're reading from Luke and we're just gonna do that. And this sounds like a joke, but I am not kidding. The next thing I do is I sit with my water and I literally stare out the window for like 20, 30 minutes. And I just sit and think because I really have to like get my thoughts in order, get my feelings in order, you know, like check in, you know, I, I just sit and I stare out the window and I, Drink my water. I'm like, how am I feeling? What's going on? You know, I think about the day ahead. I just kind of like center myself and like I'll say a few prayers, you know, say some gratitude to the man upstairs, you know, like, thank you for this day. First thing we gotta do, I'm gonna put my contacts in and just wash my hands. Don't freak out. Okay, one down and one to go. I've never filmed a morning routine video after waking up from such a deep sleep. I'm still piecing my mind back together, so that's cool. All right, now I can see. Now I'm gonna brush my teeth. Um, my fiance's mom gave me an electric toothbrush and I really liked it. In my upgraded, sophisticated morning routine. I now do mouthwash too. You know why? Because I went to the dentist and I had four cavities last year and that was not fun. So we're gonna do that. Oh, just kidding. She was like, you need to do mouthwash with fluoride. So I do the purple one. I really enjoy it. I don't like the regular. <laughs> this journey is so ridiculous. We got a second breakfast of the day. Last night when I was eating this at four in the morning, I was sitting right there by the window. I was eavesdropping on my neighbors because they were outside yelling. In the middle of the night, 
All right, next thing I'm gonna do is some reading. If I don't wake up feeling absolutely dead and just lay in my bed like Bleh, then I like to get reading done because I have all these books I wanna finish before I give birth because they're about giving birth. So this is one of them I'm reading right now and I'm gonna get some of this done. Wish me luck. Okay guys, now I'm ready for my walk. We got our parrot hat, a bra, bra shirt, some sneakers and some bike shorts and we're ready to hit the road, Jack. Hello. So, it me again. We are walking and it is cloudy. Might rain, might not rain. I guess we'll see, I will let you know. But today is more of like a processing walk of like, what do I feel? What is disturbing me? How are my emotions feeling? How is my life going currently, you know? It's not like a dance, dance, dance walk because I have those, but today I feel more like, introspective i would say hello again guys so i just got ready to do a workout with max but he's still upstairs getting ready so this is actually something i do quite often i go downstairs and wait for him and i read whatever a few pages of whatever book i'm reading so i'm reading a memoir right now hello okay i first of all wanted to say that max and i just moved into our house like together a couple weeks ago so we haven't really decorated anything it's kind of blank if you notice the blank walls so something about max is that he is a certified personal trainer he's also an amazing runner and he ran for team usa which is pretty dang cool so max works out like what like five or six days a week or something about five days a week yeah and i just i don't join him every day but i'll join him like a couple days a week so usually i just kind of like follow along with whatever max is doing so <laughs> So I'm gonna just do a reenactment of what it looks like when I stare out the window and drink my water. The alternative thing to staring out the window that I also do is go for a walk. So that's more if I wake up with either like anxiety and I'm kind of like, gotta get this energy out or I just have more energy in general or it's like really sunny out or nice out. Um, but I won't do like an exercise walk. I guess walking is exercise, but I'll just kind of like chilly walk. My mornings, I don't really like them to be like, go, go, go. I'm just trying to chill. You know, I'm not trying to run a marathon. I actually do more like productive things at night. And then after I take my reflection time, then I go make some breakfast, brush my teeth, and then jump into the day, which I start by nine o'clock. Also, I put my little sit pillow here and I usually sit here and um, question why I woke up so late. That's about my routine. I wake up. I pet the cat who sleeps next to me. You know what? I do have a little more time today, so I'm gonna go on a walk. And I'll take you on that walk with me. I have a problem where I don't do much for myself in a day, especially in the morning. I usually just wake up and do those few things you just saw and then start working. But I'm trying to stop doing that because that makes me <laughs> miserable, very unhappy. So, you know, it makes you feel like you don't matter in your own world. And if you don't matter in your own world, how do you matter anywhere else? So, um, lately I've been possibly waking up and riding my ripstick in like a parking lot or something or going on a walk. So I'm gonna go on a short walk because I only have about 30 minutes right now but even that is really helpful for my mental health okay so I have these like pregnancy exercises and stretches and stuff it's not really like it's not intense at all it's just very helpful here's my plan and I'm gonna show you a couple of those right now okay I just changed so I can go on a walk just want to show you guys the bump I have several, a few weeks left until I give birth. I don't know how it's gonna even get bigger, but that kind of scares me. Putting my shoes on, which uh, I'm still able to do. I'm very proud of that fact that I can still put my shoes on because it's a challenge. And I'm very, very blessed because today I woke up able to walk. Some days I wake up barely able to walk from the pain. I can walk, but it's like, ah, uh, because I have like sciatic nerve pain, so it's like, and I'm like, they're not going on a walk today. Let's go say hi to Frankie, my dog. And then that's the end. I'm going to walk and going to work and you will not see that, so. Okay, so I just took a shower and then I washed my face because I was very sweaty with the um, simple something moisturizing face wash. I don't know, I just get at the 
grocery store. I'm really bad at skincare, guys. And now we're just gonna put on a little um, moisturizer. So then I took my rat tail comb or whatever it's called. That's all I know what it's called. Whatever the little comb with this thing on it. And I went on my nose and I went shh, shh, shh. And I parted my hair. Okay, so now I'm back on my bed. So now we're going to, yes, that is the great angle. <laughs> we're going to read from the Bible and we're gonna meditate. So I'm reading the Word Among Us, which is daily readings from the Catholic Church. Every day has like different readings for the masses. So I'm gonna read that because I did not go to mass today. Okay guys, I'm making breakfast and I just burned my bagel so bad. Okay, so now I'm gonna make breakfast. I just finished my workout a little bit ago and I'm gonna make instant oatmeal with peanut butter and strawberries. That's been kind of like my go-to breakfast that I've been making every day lately. So I'm gonna make that really quick. That'll be pretty much the end of my morning routine. Also, if you hear noises in the background, Max is still working out. <laughs> my oatmeal with peanut butter and strawberries. Very fancy, I know. Okay, that's the end of my morning routine. Um, I'm about to go get and get into my work for the day. So that's pretty much normally where my day ends with making breakfast. So I hope you guys enjoyed following along on my morning routine and hope you enjoyed my sisters as well, especially Lisa's. <laughs> So there you have it, a day in the life of someone who just wants to chill, but you know, also still wants to get things done. <laughs> His butt says hi to you. Frankie, turn around. Oh, there we go. Hello. <laughs> okay, so he wanted to lay down under my butt apparently. Frankie and I say bye and thanks for watching. We love the same fam. <laughs> I am not a lifestyle vlogger lady. I don't know how to do cute morning routines, but I just made breakfast, which I made a bagel and some eggs, as you can see. And it's really lit. Now it's time for me to live my day. So thank you for watching and I will see you around. Bye. To avoid showing you where I live and risking my own safety, I'm just gonna film it like this. So you think I live in the sky. Okay, well, hello from my house in the sky. Um, so beautiful. I'm gonna actually enjoy my walk now, so. Okay, well, I'm back from my walk and this is where I leave you. I'm gonna take a shower and do some recording and get into work. I give my walk like a six out of 10. Really wasn't amazing, but it was okay. I feel like my brain is clear now and I can work. So that's good, but I'm just gonna drink a large glass of kids juice because it's good. All right, thanks for watching my perfect morning. Okay, bye. It's time for question, question of the week. week. So every week we pick a question from social media from one of you guys, and this week we picked from Facebook. This is from Taylor. Hey Taylor. So she said, what's your favorite candy and why? Um, I would say either Reese's cups or candy corn. And you can bite me all day you want on candy corn, but it is incredible. They're very good and I don't really have a reason, I just love them. You guys should comment if you think it's Reese's or Reese's. It's Reese's! Reese's. It's I just Reese's. furiously Googled what candies even are there. I couldn't remember. Honestly, I think this is really weird, but I think this is like my all time favorite candy flavor, which is like a general candy, is um toffee with chocolate. Yes. Oh, I agree. Toffee and chocolate, it's so good. It's the butteriness, that's, that's what I love. One. That's why, I love it because of butter. When I'm on a road trip, I hit up a gas station. What mm. candies do I get? That's mm, what your favorite girl. candy is, okay? I love Airheads. What? I love good. them till I die. That's so weird. Airheads, Airheads. Oh, so good. And then also Airheads. the Reese's, um, the Fast Break yeah, those bars. Are good. Those are yes. so good. For me, I thought of road trip when I stop if I got candy, because I usually get a Snickers ice cream bar. Oh. If I get candy, it's gonna be like Sour Punch straws, but I wouldn't uh, say that's my favorite candy. Ooh. It would either be Sour Patch Watermelons or at the movies, I always oh, get yeah. Twizzlers. Oh, oh I, I love Twizzlers. Twizzlers. I could say Lisa's answer for mine, which is weird because we do not agree on food taste at all. I think I'm <laughs> the biggest uh, sugar lover possibly here. It's a yeah. curse. Really? How about I, okay. what do you like? When I think of you, I, I do like Twizzlers a lot. That's I do I like Milk Duds a lot. But I don't have a top three because what I do is I'll have like a rotation. Okay, top three. Right now, it's Strawberry Mentos. Is Yay! My my number yeah. one thing. Yeah. I just want to say gummies are so good. Gummies no. in general. Gummy bad, bears, bad, 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 gummy bad. worms. I also like M&Ms and you put them in the freezer and you also put them in the microwave. Two different so you do buzzing. like the microwave, melted, it's better than normal. Wow. Okay guys, I have a question of the week for you that's really quick lightning round. 
Ch chocolate or fruity candy, if you only had to pick one? Chocolate. Fruit, fruit, my fruit. policy is that I always get one of one each. One of both, yes. Ooh. My policy is when I'm snacking, I get uh, sweet and salty. Yes, yes me yes, too. Yes, I have to you have to get both. Sweet you and have to. salty or else you, you have, have to. Yeah. I will go with Reese's. That's all. Chocolate or whatever, just Reese's. Make sure you subscribe and join the Sim Fam. We are a fun-loving, positive, growth-loving. We love personal growth here. Family, and we really just want to let you know that if you feel like you don't belong anywhere else, you belong here with us. We love each other, we support each other, and we lift each other up, and we grow, and we meme, and we have a lot of fun here. So click subscribe and join the Sim Fam. Thanks for watching! We love the Sim Fam!